These Tailwind responsiveness tricks will level up your web developer skills. Number 1. Text Scale with Clamp did you know that you can use the CSS function clamp to be able to create responsive text inside Tailwind? Here in this example, we have the usual way of setting a responsive text. Here we have a text base. Then for the small breakpoints, we have text large. For medium breakpoints, we have x large. And finally, for large screens, we have 2x large. Now to be able to create this responsive text, you need to use four classes and three breakpoints. And if you take a look at this old way, this is how using breakpoints look like every time the screen gets smaller by a breakpoint the text gets smaller in a jumpy way now let's see how using clamp looks like so we're going to use the text class and we're going to use brackets to be able to define a custom value going to use clamp now we need to define three values first one one rem which will be the minimum size of the text then we need to provide a preferred size which will be 4 viewport width which basically means 4% then we need to define a maximum value which in this case will be 1.5 rem let's do the same for this heading use the text class use clamp and define a minimum value in this case let's use 1.5 rem for the preferred size we're going to use 5% of the viewport width then we're going to use 3 rem for the maximum size. So these are the two texts that are using clamp. Let's see how they look like once the viewport gets smaller. And as you can see, comparing to using breakpoints, texts are getting smaller in a really smooth way. And it looks way better. Number 2. Targeting specific ranges with breakpoints. In Tailwind, you can target specific ranges using breakpoints to style elements. In this example, you can see the blue span element will be hidden between the small and medium breakpoints and the yellow text will be visible only between small and medium. Now, using this logic, let's make the background of this box yellow only between small and medium screens. First, for the background, you're gonna define a minimum breakpoint which will be small and then we're gonna define the maximum which will be medium now this means the styling that we are going to define will be only applied to this element between the small breakpoint and the medium breakpoint let's set the background to yellow 400 and using the same logic let's define the minimum breakpoint and the maximum and make the text black now let's see. So the background color of this box should turn yellow if the viewport width is under 768 pixels. And there you go. And if you go down under 640, which is the small breakpoint, it should return blue. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Number 3. Aspect Ratio Class in Tailwind, using the Aspect class, you can define a width to height ratio of an element. Here, we have four videos. Let's make the first one 16 to 9 using Aspect Video. If you hover over the class, you can see the 16 by 9. Now, let's make this one a square using Aspect Square. And if you hover over it, you can see the ratio is 1 by 1. Let's make this next one 4 by 3. And this final one, 21 by 9. And this is how they look like. Keep in mind that these elements are going to keep their shape no matter how small the screen is. So the 16 by 9 ratio is going to stay 16 by 9. This square one stays as a square. As you can see, it goes the same with 4 by 3 and 21 by 9 as well. Number 4. Custom Breakpoints In Tailwind, you can define custom breakpoints using arbitrary values, so you don't have to stick to default ones such as small, medium, or large. In this example, let's set the background of this div to be background white after a minimum breakpoint of 540 pixels. So now, if we go down under 540, the white background is no longer visible. For this div, Let's hide it and make it visible after the breakpoint of 540 pixels again. Now you can see this div, but once we go down under 540, it is not going to be visible anymore. And for this next one, let's make this visible only if the viewport is smaller than 540 pixels. So again, once the viewport gets smaller, now we can see this div. 
Number 5. Responsive Grid with Out of It Did you know that in Tailwind, you can use the CSS function Out of It to create responsive grids? In this example, this is how we usually create responsive grids. Here in this example, we have this grid with four columns after the large breakpoint. And as the screen gets smaller, for the medium breakpoint, we have three columns, then we have two, and finally we have one column. So this is the usual way of creating a responsive grid and you basically need to use four class names to be able to get this. Let's take a look at the auto fit version. Let's open a set of brackets to be able to use arbitrary values. You're going to use grid template columns and we're going to repeat the column that we are going to create. You're going to use auto fit and this is basically going to create as many columns as possible inside this row and the columns it is going to create is going to depend on the minimum and maximum value of the column that we want. The first value that we need to define is the minimum width of the column which in this case let's use 200 pixels and then the maximum value which will be one fraction space. Now let's take a look and as you can see it works in the exact same way. Number 6. Responsive Visibility In Tailwind, you can show and hide elements based on the screen size using the breakpoints. In this example, we have three divs. Let's make this first one visible on these small screens and it will be hidden for the screens that are larger than the small breakpoint, which is 640 pixels. Let's make the second one hidden if the screen is smaller than the small breakpoint. And for the third one, it is not going to be visible unless the screen is large, so large block. And as you can see, the green text is only visible. And as the screen gets smaller, we can see the blue text. And for the small screens, we can see the red one. Number 7. Switching between grid and flex box. Did you know that in Tailwind, you can switch between flex and grid containers? In this example, here we have this flex container with 6 items inside. Now let's make this container a flex container only after the large breakpoint using large. And then for the screens that are smaller than large, this container is going to be a grid container with a minimum number of columns and after the medium breakpoint, it is going to have three columns. So we set the container to flex after the large breakpoint, which is 1024 pixels. And as you can see now, we are over the large breakpoint and the container is flex. And as the screen gets smaller, now we have switched to a grid layout. Number 8. Responsive text alignment. Did you know that in Tailwind you can change the text alignments depending on the screen size? In this example, this text is centered, but after this small breakpoint, we can change the direction to be text left, and after the medium breakpoint, we can set it to be right. And now that we are over the medium breakpoint, the text is aligned on the right, and as it gets smaller, it will be aligned on the left. And if we go down under the small breakpoint, it is going to be centered again. And these were the Tailwind responsiveness tricks. I hope you find it helpful and enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.